Before we get started, a big shout out to Zuleka Motors for making this happen. Here we are, hands on, on the XUV 700. And the first version we are driving here is the petrol manual. So let's see how it goes. Into first gear. And, and here we go. Last things first, there's the clutch is really long there's, and the gearbox is a bit notchy and let's see how it goes. That is 200 bhp for you. Third gear, 110 and she just flies. Well, okay. The initial observations are, the clutch is really, really soft once you get moving. And uh, the steering is quite light. Like, it doesn't feel as if you're driving a mammoth of a car and yes just as soon as i put on the indicators the 360 camera comes into action the silver one which is right in front of us is the diesel automatic version which will we will be driving in a short span of time so let's see how they compare and how different they are and if spending more money on a diesel automatic is really worth it. So here we are back again and now we have to take a U-turn and believe me this thing feels really nimble and again on the throttle and there is a bit of turbo lag that you feel. And the gearbox is still somewhere notchy, like, or probably I'm not used to it, but this thing is fast. And steering feel is lovely, it really connects with the road and you never ever complain about, you know, maneuvering such a big car. I really thought driving a manual would actually be a pain, but this feels so comfortable. And talking about the view from up here, you do feel like a king, but not as much as the Thar did. It does give you a fair amount of watts in front of you. And it does make you look tall. So here we are, another U-turn without any fuss the 700 does it so this is it the clutch is a bit jerky 
and the gearbox is a bit grumpy and apart from that this thing is a boon to drive and 200 bhp is more than enough considering all that the xuv has to offer so here we are driving the diesel automatic and because this is the automatic variant it does have all the driver assistance program so let's see how it actually works for our traffic conditions and first off we do notice that there is quite a lot of difference in the nvh levels because the diesel is a bit louder and does produce a bit more vibes than the petrol engine and the 6 speed torque converter does a great job and also the steering is way more heavier on the diesel unlike the petrol version so far none of the programs have kicked in like emergency braking didn't take place I'm not going to take a chance. I'll rather do it manually by myself. And again, the 360 camera in action along with the lane. So now we have a fair bit of road. Put the foot down, and that. is 450 newton meters of torque for you but then it doesn't feel as quick as the superb which has hardly 350 newton meters well i really can't feel if there's a difference of 100 newton meters because this is one it's a bigger car and the aerodynamics is not up to the mark it's not a sedan basically so it is powerful well it's i would say it's adequately powered it doesn't feel underpowered nor does it feel like a rocket talking about safety features this car has seven airbags to offer and the all wheel disc brakes the esp and uh, the hill hold assist are all a boon so there's nothing to worry about in the safety aspect and yes as i said earlier the diesel in which levels are way way higher than the petrol and it starts to become a bit vocal in higher revs and yes the diesel steering is also a bit on the heavier side it isn't very heavy as such it feels nice but i still like the steering of the petrol better than this and that's it for the video of the xuv 700 thanks for watching shout